So I think the 1.5 degrees target is is, um, is is something that we should aim at. Whether it's whether we get there or not is partly um, that's partly academic. I think it's the fact that we are aiming for 1.5 degrees, which is the important thing. Um, if we're we're breaking our back to get to 1.5 and we end up 1.8 or 2, that's better than aiming at 2 and ending up at 4 degrees Celsius. <laughs> From a carbon budget point of view, I think it's, it's highly unlikely we'll be able to hold to 1.5 degrees centigrade. I am very sceptical of the negative emission technologies, particularly um, BEX, the biomass energy carbon capture and storage. I do think we should research them. I think it's really important that we progress our understanding on these technologies, but I actually think we should assume they do not work when we develop emission scenarios. So I think it's very unlikely we'll hold to 1.5 degrees centigrade. To be honest, I think it's, hard, it's very unlikely we'll hold to a reasonable probability of two degrees centigrade now. And my concern with an event like this is we're, we are prepared to rely on utopian technologies that do not yet exist, but we're not prepared to look at actual mitigation today, which, which sort of has profound challenging questions for the current economic paradigm. So until we are prepared to actually, you know, um, open up that Pandora's box, which we'll ask questions about how we live our lives today, I think we are unlikely to hold to even two degrees centigrade. I think the question for feasibility is a real challenge. And the way the scoping meeting for the 1.5 degree special report was handled was not to address feasibility as such, because it also belongs to political will and acceptability, social acceptability, but conditions for feasibility. So options that are available to uh, meet ambitious uh, um, mitigation targets. So options available and implementation options that can shift from the idea of a trajectory to the uh, realization of, of the transformation that is needed behind the trajectory. So I think the special report is not about feasibility. It's more about conditions for feasibility and uh, opportunities, challenges and risks. Well, I think the feasibility is, of course, not about the limit. The feasibility is about the pathway to achieve it. And then I think there are, there are definitely technological options and there are definitely mitigation options out there that could uh, have us stay within a carbon budget that is in line with 1.5. On the other hand, uh, this very much depends on the political and societal momentum that will be generated uh, over the coming five to ten years. These are really critical. Otherwise, I think the limit is still valid and pertinent, but we have to count with an overshoot and exceeding the carbon budget in the near term or in the mid term, and then we have to count with carbon dioxide removal in the long term in order to stay below this safe limit.